All right, this is the Evolator here at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. So, elevator enthusiasts, enthusiasts, what do you think of this? Let's get a good cab view. Look at this cab, very interesting. And look at those lights, I like those lights. Those, so this is basically a time machine exhibit. Here's your screen right here. Uh, door opened when it started closing. This is just awesome. Oh, welcome aboard the Evolator. I'm Charlie, your pilot and prehistoric guide. For the next six minutes, we'll be taking an extraordinary journey. 2,000 meters up through the crust of the Earth and 38 million years forward in time. Please step all the way into the Evolator. We'll get started in just a second. Okay, everyone, we're about to begin. Stand by. I'm closing the aft doors. Now, there are two important gauges to watch as we travel. That's the depth gauge over there. Notice it's at 2,000 meters below the surface level at which we'll exit. See those rocks displaying the gauge? Let's record at each stop along the way. Now watch the time gauge as I activate the time view generator. Notice it's at 75 million years before the 20th century. Well, that about covers the details. Let's take a look at our starting point. Welcome to beautiful downtown Albuquerque. 75 million years before the 20th century. The entire area is covered by a shallow sea that stretches from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up through Canada to the Arctic Circle. It looks like we've got company. Elsie, can you get a reading? Wow, a mosasaur. This giant lizard must be over six meters long. He has one big appetite. He'll eat just about anything they put. Uh oh, here he comes. Everybody, quick, brace yourselves. Whoa. <laughs> we made it. Oh, I wanted to show you a lot more, but uh, that guy had other ideas. Well, now we're going five million years forward in time. Beachfront property. Just a sec. I'm gonna go outside and take a closer look. Hey! This looks just like the beach where I spent my last vacation. Except for that. Now that's something you wouldn't see back home. Hang on, I'll go set up my camera. <laughs> Elsie, switch on remote camera. How about that? Duck-billed dinosaurs. They're over nine meters long. Oh, it's Uh-oh. Whoa, don't worry, I'm not coming any closer. Obviously, they're pretty good parents. Look, there's a man. You know, he's probably one of the largest mammals on Earth right now. Who oh, no. knows? I'm spotted him. <laughs> yeah, that guy should have picked another place for lunch. Hang in there, we're, we're counting on you. Footprints. Just think, in another 70 million years, you might see these same prints preserved in your natural history museum. Of course, these aren't especially big or dramatic. Wow! Now that's a big track. And another. And another. Well, I'm sure it's only the creature that made these people. Oh, oh, oh.
stop is a little more restful. Hmm. It'll be 150 meters up and two million years forward in time. I should do it. Albuquerque looks a lot different now, huh? The whole place is a swamp. See those bubbles? That's methane gas that's been released by decaying plants that have sunk to the bottom. Those rotting plants will eventually turn into coal, which in another 68 million years, people will be burning as fuel. Elsie, let's see if we can find some dinosaurs. Wow, that was great. We found a genuine Panaceratops. The swamp is a regular salad bar for this vegetarian. And we'd love to join you for dinner, big fellow, but we've got a schedule to keep. So long. That's it. 